Hi everyone, uh, I'm Amit and first of all I would like to thank Ankita for giving me an opportunity to speak at TEDx. So I and my team are integrating virtual reality. I hope all of you know about virtual reality and I explain you that. So we are integrating virtual reality in the architecture design and we aim to transform the whole education system with this virtual reality. In today's digital world, finding new ways to engage students to increase the knowledge retention is even more difficult. So, so how we are going to use new technologies to address these problems? Today, I am going to share how we are bringing change in education system. So computer technology has been a massive industry and has been grown tremendously past 50 years. Classrooms around the world have already started preparing for the next generation. Now students are using tablets, smartphones and even they are learning programming even from like very early age. Virtual reality is the next big step in that direction and it's our responsibility so that they can get the best opportunity possible. So David Collins, he's a scientist, uh, published uh, learning models in 1984 and he said, learning is the knowledge, learning is a process where knowledge is created through the transformation of experiences and it's it really provides you great opportunity to engage students to, to engage students creatively, emotionally, socially and physically into the work environment. So I know most of you know about virtual reality and it's a technology which really teleports you to a different world. It cuts you off from the real, from the real world and you can even feel you are teleported to a different uh, environment. So we call it, these, these are the VR headsets we call, you just need to put on your eyes and you will feel teleported. It has a huge potential to communicate, it has a huge potential to share your experience in real scale. So I would like to tell you how it all started. So uh, let's go back in 2010, I landed to IIT Roorkee to pursue Bachelors of Architecture. There I met people across India who are from like different states, religion, uh, with different traditions. What I learned from them is they, they every individual was talented. Some, some were good in coding, some were good with music, some were good with like sports, some were good even Last but not the least, some were good with girls. Yeah, that's can't. Just kidding. So, and all in all, every individual is talented in a some in any way. And they, they as they came across across India, so I was hailing from Aligarh, a small city in Uttar Pradesh. When I was kid, when I was in school, I didn't have opportunity to have a smartphone. To, to have uh, using laptops or computer nowadays you can see every kid has uh, his own PC or laptop or smartphone even in uh, schools. So uh, the first interaction with computer I had at the uh, school's computer lab where I was at that time I was like very curious. I was very inquisitive to know about that piece of technology. So, in college, as I got opportunity to interact with individuals who have diverse, who have diverse skill sets, then I realized we have so much to learn, we have so much to share from each other, to each other. Then I realized the power of sharing thoughts, the power of sharing imagination, the power of human collaboration, that's what we are lacking in our system. So, 
uh, I have a incident when I, I was in first year of my college. Uh, we have uh, so it's uh, one of my professor's class, and uh, he he asked me to submit an assignment. So uh, we had a rule like uh, we have to submit in first year. We have to submit the assignments in like hand drafted drawings. I I hope you know the hand drafted line drawings you you have seen. I think these kind of drawings. As an being an architecture student, you have to go through all of it. So I was like very curious to integrate softwares to explore different technologies, and I was. Very active in this, but the challenge was the department has also a rule that all the submission, the software submission, are only acceptable from third year rights or onwards. Uh, but I was in first year, but but I want I wanted to do it, so I did it. But my professor refused me, refused to accept the assignment. Then I requested him. So please, you, can you accept it? And he said, like you are in first year, you can't use softwares. You have to, you have to like uh, submit the hand drawn details. Okay, so I did that. So I made both the versions of the same assignment, the hand drawn and the software version, and and went back to the professor and submitted it. And then I realized, going back to the hostel, I realized. This is our system which is limiting us. Why do we fear to? Why do we fear of change? Why do we afraid of bringing innovations in a regular education system? So there are many thoughts, and year passes, and we really need to bring that perception. We really need to look beyond. The perceived limitations that we have, because which inhibits us and also limits the great opportunity coming to us. So as I told you, I I was totally into software technology. I love to play with it. So uh, even I used to make simulations. Even the building is existing. So it's a uh, this is another incident in my third year. So he's one of my professor who is uh, who used to teach me contemporary architecture, and he he is really passionate about it. So I remember one of his lecture. He was uh, lecturing on a very famous falling water house. You can see the building. It, it has a very unique feature. It's constructed on the waterfall. It's in US. So it's a part of curriculum. So we were so excited, and he is also so passionate about it. Even he devoted his next two week lecture particular on this topic, and we were so into it, and we really want to visit it because he really he was so passionate about explaining each and every concept that we really want to grab what he was trying to convey. But I realized. Are we able to communicate exactly what we have in our mind? I felt at that time there was no medium to communicate exactly what we have in our mind. So uh, years passes by. Uh, I got uh, uh, I came out of college uh, with many unanswered questions in my head. So I I got placed uh, in a an UAE based MNC as an architect but uh, i thought i i really want to uh, explore the technological world so i really want to dive deep into the technological world so i refused that offer and i joined a different design consultancy as an interaction designer where i used to develop applications android applications different different kind of applications There was another incident. I was like nine nine to five job. It's very pretty much similar to an engineering graduate's life, nine to five job. So suddenly, uh, it was uh, two years back. My uh, it was my birthday. So I got this gift, this messy piece of cardboard. I got this gift. What were you expecting inside? 
that's what was in my mind when I got this. So we we expect our friends to give you movie passes, concert passes, or a long drive. But it was totally different thing. When I opened it, it's a cardboard. This picture. It's a cardboard. I this was the first time I was interacting with the virtual reality device. and i really i really didn't know about it then i then my friend asked me to put it uh, like as uh, we have as we have to assemble it and just put my phone into it's like you have to place your phone like this and it's like this as soon as i put my phone onto it and onto my eyes i was totally blown i was i really felt i was totally into different environment I was so excited. It was totally a cognitive shock for me. It it really I was so excited. I couldn't believe my eyes. Like I, how can I feel so teleported? I was totally into different world. So that's really stuck into my mind, and I kept on exploring different applications. And after a few weeks, I was like running out of out of the app. So then I realized what else. I want to explore it. As my background is from architecture, I really want to experience buildings inside it. So uh, after exploring uh, applications on uh, the Google uh, Play Store, so I was like running out of it. So I decided to integrate that kind of thing to experience buildings. To to integrate this kind of thing in this in our system. So. Uh, I that just it was just an idea. It, I I so I met my friend. Uh, he is my dearest friend, Mayur. He he has been my roommate since my college days. So I discussed this idea and uh, I convinced him like I want to integrate this kind of technology or that kind of application of this in our education system. And he decided like yeah we can try. So we met hundreds of people. But at that time, nobody even know about it, and even very few of of them know how to build this. And that was a struggle time. So we we are coming from a architecture background. We are, but the best part is, in IIT we got opportunity to learn the basics of coding, the C plus plus HTML and all. So, but to develop applications we really need a different level so we really need to dive deep into the programming part so after 7 months of spending uh, sleepless nights we came up with the first virtual reality experience of a building the same building that my professor used to teach me the falling water house and uh, then we showed it to a professor like he was totally fascinated he has been he was like uh, he was reacting like a kid and he has been teaching this same building for past 25 years and he was running out of the words so he asked his uh, wife to experience the same and he he was so he was literally into tears so like he couldn't imagine how this can be done and i believe virtual everybody has his own visualization part has his own thoughts to create and imagine it keep world inside his own head the clarity the depth the details vary with every individual's capacity we all have sort of imagination in our mind right and virtual reality has a potential to communicate the same visual experience that you have in your own mind and that's that's really a big thing a big step i call it a human experience a medium to communicate a human experience because it nearly involves all your senses which makes you feel you are in, into the real environment and i strongly believe what you see is seeking you if you are really passionate about something if you are really dedicated about something if you are working hard towards it 
you will definitely achieve it. Work hard, things will fall into place in that direction. And this is what happened to us. So we founded Outside VR, which is a virtual reality experiential learning platform. And our aim, our objective is to translate the curriculum into the experiential format with this technology. Virtual reality not only helps students to understand the complex subjects to, in an immersive way, but also helps teachers to explain the complexities of a topic in a very immersive way. So imagination is, is the source of all human achievements. And I believe, in extension to this thought, I believe if we got opportunity to, to communicate or share our experience, share our imagination, our rate of achievements will surely boost. So, believing that, we have started training students, professionals to learn about this technology and use this technology in their own projects and learn how to design their projects in virtual reality. So, let's have a glimpse of what we have done so far. Our broader vision is not just to enhance the education system, but to do something for a better world, for a better tomorrow. So, uh, I, uh, we really believe like technology should be accessible to its targeted audience irrespective of this financial boundaries. So, I decided to launch, uh, to bridge this gap and and also the one of the problems that we have, we, we always try to meet future by what we did in the past. And this is a big myth. And we, we really need to change our perception. And that's what we did. And we launched uh, VR Patshala, Dekhega India, Padhega India. This is the first India's first VR classroom program for underprivileged kids. I really want to bring down that technology to a grassroots level where everyone can experience it. I don't want to restrict it to a certain class. Thank you.